Hey guys, Eric over here at Bama Computer Repair uh, in Huntsville, Alabama. Um, just wanted to um, uh, make a little video here. Um, I, get, I get a lot of questions about um, uh, laptops that overheat and why they overheat and how you actually um, keep them from overheating. And um, here I'm going to show you one of the main causes. Um, and this is 90% of of the issues um, sometimes on certain models of course you know is the cooling system just isn't sufficient um, the heat sinks uh, and the fans that are put in just don't sufficiently cool it um, a lot of the HP series the DV series do that now uh, the compact uh, CQ series do that as well and here's one of the main things that you can do and why really you need uh, you know a qualified technician to actually do it um, I've broken down a CQ60 compact CQ60 and here's the fan it was running hot and it was actually um, it was actually overheating and just shutting down randomly um, the event viewers of course showed a you know kernel thermal uh, thermal event uh, and it sends the, uh, the the computer basically into hibernation mode uh, just to save itself um, a lot of times the computer will just shut off but basically what we've done and uh, is I've broken down the whole laptop of course um, you basically have to with with most laptops just to reach the fan um, all the way down to the motherboard and then you know, actually unscrew it off the motherboard this is the actual heat sink and fan assembly <coughs> for the CQ60 and uh, there's a couple screws on the actual fan that attach it to the assembly um, let's see if we can get a focus here May couple screws right here here and here taking those off and finally the uh, the fan will come off and of course the the fan I don't know if you can see it, it looks pretty dusty uh, but if you actually look on the inside of these vents let's see how how good a quality we can get here it is just completely caked with dust I mean y'all may not be able to see it let me see if I can get over here to some light there we go just completely caked with dust um, to a point where it's not really even letting any kind of airflow out through the vent uh, which of course shoots out the back of the machine um, and that's a major problem uh, because what happens eventually because they use lead free solder uh, when lead, lead free solder um, uh, gets hot um, it starts to oxidize and once the oxidation gets uh, to a certain point it will actually break the connection from the solder points on the chip to uh, uh, the connection points on the board and that's a lot of times why you get the uh, the DV series and the the CQ series um, laptops that'll start right up and then they'll turn off completely um, you know basically those connections on the GPU chip aren't there anymore uh, or bridged like they need to be and um, that causes the issues uh, it doesn't know how to flow the data so it just cuts off as a fault um, so yeah if you've got if you've got a CQ60 or a uh, <clears throat> or a DV series that's you know a couple years old and it's uh, the fans running all the time really high um, you'd be wise to to get it looked at and get it cleaned out um, I'll stop this video I'm gonna clean it up and uh, of course you know, you want to put new thermal paste and a new thermal pad on the GPU, uh, new thermal paste on the CPU. Uh, but let's get this cleaned up, and I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so uh, got this thing cleaned up. Um, as you can see, got all that dust out of there, and you want those vents to be clear so the air, air can actually flow out. You know, like I said, if the air's not flowing uh, out of there, basically it's not being cooled, and you know this. Uh, this copper is going to get real hot, which in turn, you know, the chip is going to stay hot. Um, your CPU and GPU, and you're going to have issues. Now, one thing I didn't say before is, you know, here's some people say, well, I, I cleaned it out, I blew, uh, I blew some air duster in there. But basically, you know, unless you take it completely apart, the only way to blow that dust out of there is to blow it through this way, through through the outlet. Um, of the vent and basically you're going to be blowing all this dust into the machine uh, which you don't want to do um, one it can uh, you know if you have huge chunks of dust in there uh, like let's say cat hair and stuff like that which is not uncommon um, for one you can you can block the uh, uh, the actual turning of the uh, of the fan uh, and you know the fan just won't move 
um, and that's not good because you, you need the fan moving. Uh, and two, of course, you know, you just if it doesn't block the fan, you're blowing all that dust back up into the machine, which you know is no good. Um, while we have this already cleaned out and broken down, um, some fans, depending on you know how the how it's set up, uh, will actually allow you to uh, to take the the actual fan off of the bearing. Uh, on this one, you can actually do that. Oh, you like the my daughter gave me the smiley face stamp. Uh, see if I can do this one-handed, but uh, basically it comes right off of there, and you can see the little axle right there that fits into the into the bearing in the motor right there. Um, now, what do you use to uh, to relubricate this? You do not use WD-40 ever on parts like this. These are high velocity, um, you know bearing systems and you don't you know WD-40 may seem well it's real slick but you know it will eventually seize up um, what you want to use and you can get this for five bucks at Walmart is a uh, sewing machine oil all-purpose all uh, sewing machine oil and you know basically you just uh, put a couple drops on on your axle here if we can get focused yeah on your axle there in the middle and um, that's gonna lubricate it and gonna keep it lub lubricated you know you don't have to do it but you know, we've already got the we've already got the fan out so why not you know fans do go out uh, they do seize and you know this will this will save you a little trouble in the future so um, yeah that's how uh, that's how you want to do it um, that's one of the main causes for uh, for laptops uh, overheating and um, it's not you know a hard job um, if you've done it a few times but if you've never taken a laptop apart definitely you know get somebody uh, that knows what they're doing um, to actually do it for you um, it's a lot more expensive uh, down the road uh, not cleaning that out and then having to reball or reflow uh, the GPU or the CPU so uh, for you know a simple cleaning like this breaking it down um, uh, in our shop we charge just a flat flat rate of 85 for anything we do so you know 85 bucks is definitely a lot cheaper than uh, what we would charge for a, a reball or a reflow and definitely a lot cheaper than buying a new laptop so definitely worth it a little investment on an older machine that you want to keep going but uh, that's it Hope you all enjoyed and learned something.